What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Monkey Flop here and today I wanted to give you guys a big heads up because Call of Duty Infinite Warfare is going to be free to play. Wait, before you get your pennies in a wad, it's actually not going to be free to play forever and there is details on, you know, what is exactly is going to be available. So I'm going to go through that with you guys today in this video. So on... December 15, 2016, at approximately 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare Free to Play will be available. Now, you will need to go into the PlayStation Network Store and find the free trial once it becomes available after 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Now, keep in mind, times may vary just depending on when they actually update the PlayStation Network Store. Um, I wanted to give you guys further details on what is going to be free, what's going to be included, and all that good juicy stuff. If you guys have not had a chance to dive into the campaign mode, that is going to be available for you guys. You'll be able to play select missions. Um, you'll be able to play Rise Threat, Rising Threat, and Black Skies, the first two levels of the game. Plus, you'll be able to play multiplayer. Uh, multiplayer, there's a level cap of 15. So once you reach level 15, that's going to be pretty much it. Um, and then as far as zombies, the zombie-infested 1980s amusement park is going to be available. And the level cap on that is going to be level 3. Keep in mind, during this whole time, if you guys decide, hey, you know what, I'm going to purchase... Uh, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare besides not sponsored or anything uh, But if you guys decide to keep it then everything that you earn will be Available for you guys once you purchase the the actual thing there are requirements too So in order to play any multiplayer game PlayStation Plus is required Okay, so if you wanted to play multiplayer in zombies You need PlayStation Plus if you wanted to play the campaign mode the two levels that are free, then go right ahead and dive into that. Uh, but as far as multiplayer and zombies, that's online and it's going to be with PlayStation Plus. Also, keep in mind you will need about 60 gigabytes available for free in your PlayStation 4 in order to download this free trial. Because uh, what they what their intentions are is. You know what, we're going to give it to them for between the 15th of December and the 20th. Let them get their feet wet, see if they like it. If they do, then they can purchase it right away. And the idea with that is once you purchase it, it's already downloaded on your PlayStation 4 system. You can continue playing and you don't lose your progress in anything. So you will need 60 gigabytes uh, of space available in order to uh, download a playlist. Again, just wanted to go over the important details. Um, PlayStation Plus is required. Uh, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare is gonna be a free to play just from December 15th uh, at around 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time to December 20th at around 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And again, you'll be able to enjoy three modes. You get uh, multiplayer, you get zombies, and you get two levels from the campaign. Uh, well, that's it for me. I wanted to give you guys a heads up. I'm curious to know what you guys think about this. What do you guys think about Call of Duty giving a free trial, a five-day free trial uh, of their game? And what do you guys think about how, how they have it set up to where you can only play two levels, you get the level cap of 15, and then on zombies, you get the level cap of three. I'll be curious to know in the comment section below. Uh, Call of Duty sales have been really, really horrible lately. Um, I mean, it's been the worst it's ever been. Uh, I went to COD, not COD XP. I did go to COD XP. It was pretty awesome. But then I went to PlayStation Experience, and they had the World Champions live right there. Face Clan uh, going up against a bunch of other people. And there was a really small crowd. And then PlayStation hosted a Street Fighter event or a Capcom event. And the place was packed out to the max. It was insane. It was crazy. And I really haven't seen anything like that um, actually in person um, as far as like esports goes. And Capcom did it. 
Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, there was hardly anybody there. And that also goes with the sales. So um, I know I kind of went off of there, but let me know what you guys think. What if Call of Duty were to be a free-to-play game? Would you guys play it? And if it was a free-to-play game, what would you expect to pay for? Because they're, they're still going to want to make their money. Um, do you guys mind supply drops? Do you guys mind Westham, uh, Westham, weapons customization? Uh, learn how to speak, monkey flop. But do you guys mind, uh, you know, what, what would you want to see in a free-to-play game where you can actually spend some moolah on it? I'll be curious to know in the comment section below because I got a feeling they're testing the waters here. And if it is a uh, good, good, solid uh, ground, then maybe, hey, Call of Duty will be a free to play later on in the future. I mean, right now it's it's got a really bad uh, track record. Um, Infinite Warfare is doing terrible. Everybody's playing COD 4. Everybody was expecting, you know, this to happen. But the way it happened... It's a real shame because all the previous Call of Duties, no matter how much other people have talked about it, um, it still lived. It still lived on to see the light of day and it was able to live its lifespan, but it, Infinite Warfare is not going to live its lifespan. Anyways, make sure to hit a like if you would take two seconds out of your day. Subscribe as well. I switched that around, but who cares? <laughs> I keep you guys up to date on all of the latest PlayStation 4, PlayStation Plus news updates, all that good stuff, so you don't have to. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next news update. You guys are freaking awesome.